you know, I mean, reality is, you know, outside of the first year, every year that I've been here, you get contacted about, you know, other schools and their interest in those types of things. So, you know, I think the big thing is uh, it's part of uh, the profession. Anytime a major job comes open in college football, Louisiana head coach Billy Napier's name is going to be in the conversation as he's possibly the hottest coaching candidate in the nation. This week, the smoke comes from the Florida Gators and their recent vacancy. But LSU is also a part of the chatter with reports that Napier is one of the final three candidates for the Tigers opening. Big picture things uh, the way we've handled them in the past. We're going to do it. Uh, we're going to be smart about it. And we evaluate everything, and uh, we'll make a good decision based off of a lot of prayer and a lot of um, insight from people that I trust and that have wisdom, um, and we'll go from there. Blocking out the noise will be extra difficult this week for UL while preparing to face UL. I mean, it's not just because of the job rumors. Louisiana has already clinched hosting the Sun Belt title game on December 4th. The Cajuns are favored to beat the Warhawks by three touchdowns. And on top of that, it's Thanksgiving week. But UL says they are still focused on the task at hand. We understand it's one game at a time. Like We couldn't get to where we are now if we didn't take it one game at a time. Being that we had that loss to Texas, we played bad against Nichols. So we tried to focus in as a team. We came in and made sure we didn't look past anybody. Not saying we look past any of those teams we played, but we make it, made it a sense that we take one game at a time approach. 